Uh, my name's Sally Frost. You must probably got your invite letter from me. I'll be emceeing from, for you today. And we are delighted to welcome you. You are the top 100 female STEM students in the university. I started uh, um, thinking, uh, like you, I want to change the world. I want to become an engineer, environmental engineer. I want to change the world. I didn't change the world. I changed the many worlds. And that is, I think, what uh, all of you find the inspiration to change many worlds. And women must do far more to support each other. We don't, you know, I just feel that we must lift each other up. You know, when, when people apply for, for, for certain jobs with me, it's so nice and easy to get swayed by all the wonderful um, symbols. But I found that it's what's inherent in the individual, what they're born with, the skills they honed, that are the skills that will take them further. The A's, the, the 10 A's and, and whatever it is gets you to a point, but it's those other skills that actually helps you go uh, even further. stand here in front of you and tell you to work hard and all those typical things but it really the fire needs to burn inside you which is what prof also spoke about you need to love it you need to love what you do and if you love what you do you'll also feel like you never work a day in your life women really seldom come into this field because there are very few women role models for us so it's really important also, you know, you may feel like you're just a tiny person. Some of you are doing your undergrad, some of you are doing your postgrad, but you are inspiring someone else that's younger than you. And it's also important to lift people up whenever you can. Because we spend so much of our lives at work, it's crucial to feel satisfied, to feel fulfilled, and to feel like you can make a meaningful contribution to yourself and to others' lives. And Congratulations to the top 100 STEM students. And I think it's such a blessed opportunity for you to be here today. We've listened to such inspiring role models that you have of women in STEM. And I hope that they inspire you to reach the heights that you want to. Unfortunately, up until today, you would still find yourself in many roles where you're the first, many. Luckily, in, in platforms like this, where we congregate as women, it will be just mostly women. But in many of the, the, the careers or the roles you will pursue, you will be the first one. Take courage and be there. Mentor others. Lift them up. Be the first for a while and then build a crowd, build a network. Pull others to that space. We're stronger in numbers. <laughs> Today we are at UKZN, Howard College campus, for the Women in STEM event. So Women in STEM is science, technology, engineering, maths, uh, manufacture and design, so STEM 2D. Uh, this event is sponsored by Johnson & Johnson, as Johnson & Johnson encourages the development of women, careers in STEM, so taking women not from just having a career um, and a career path, but an entire lifestyle around STEM. From a degree, moving forward into an entire lifestyle where the woman is working in many of the different sciences, from maths, computer, data science, to engineering, um, marketing and agriculture. Mm -hmm. 